Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Mattive. In this video, we are going to discuss about translation and rotation. So, I will give a small example and start. So, can you see the x-axis, y-axis and of course the origin and we have a circle here. And do you remember the standard circle, the standard equation of circle or standard circle it means a circle with center origin and radius a. But look at this circle, it is not a standard circle because the center is not at the origin. So what I am going to do is, I am going to create a new axis system so that the x axis and the y axis which I am going to create will pass through the center or rather in the new system okay let's call the old system as small x small y and let's call the new system as capital X capital Y so in the old system that is small x y plane the circle is not a standard circle but in the new system capital X y it is a standard circle okay now what I just did is called translation of axes. Now look at this when I talk about axes what I mean is both x axis and y axis together. So what I just did is called translation. Translation means transforming the original system into a parallel system that is the new x axis will be parallel to the old x axis and the new y axis will be parallel to the old y axis and let's say in the old system this coordinate is called h comma k in the old system or rather the new origin is h comma k anyway it learn one small formula small x is equal to capital x plus h small y equal to capital y plus k i'm not going into the derivation if you want you can search for it but this will do the trick. So let's do one question. Transform the equation. So they are asking you to transform. Transform means change. Change the equation. x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y minus 12 equal to 0 by shifting to a parallel axis. So what do they want us to do? They want, to, they want to shift the original system into a parallel system with the new origin 2 comma minus 3. Okay, so they can ask like this, shift it to the new origin or shift through the point in a parallel manner or simply they will mention translate. So remember, translation means moving the x-axis and y-axis so that the new system will be parallel to the old system. Anyway, to work out this problem, it's like very, very easy. All you have to do is you have to write small x equal to capital X plus H, small y equal to capital Y plus K, where H comma K is the new origin. Okay, so here we get cap small x equal to capital X plus 2 and small y equal to capital Y plus minus 3. So that gives me y minus 3. Now we have to transform this equation. We have to see what will happen to this equation in the new system. So that is very simple. You can write the given equation is and then we can write the transformed equation, the changed equation, the new equation is x plus 2 the whole squared See, I am just replacing small x with x plus 2 and small y with y minus 3 plus y minus 3 the whole square minus 4 into x plus 2 plus 6 into y minus 3 minus 12 equal to 0. Now, uh, make sure you expand this equation very very carefully because in exam answer papers I always see Students do up to this step perfectly, but they make a lot of careless mistakes afterwards. 
anyway simplify you have a plus b the whole square so x square plus 4x plus 4 plus y square minus 6y plus 9 okay anyway on this 4x 4x minus 6y 6y I ended up with x square plus y square equal to 25 so this is one advantage uh, actually what happened here is I started with a general circle and I ended up with the standard circle now let's learn one more concept that is called rotation of axes so let's consider the standard xy plane now for example sake for example sake you just imagine an ellipse which looks like this but you have learned that the standard ellipse will look like this you have learned that the standard ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 looks like this that is the major axis will pass through the x axis and the minor axis will be through y axis so here we need something called rotation of axes so what i do is i just rotate this x axis in such a way that the new x axis and the new y axis will be in the standard position okay i'll do one thing i'll delete I'll delete the old system and show you see in the new system in the new system the ellipse is a standard ellipse anyway let's learn the formula for this and there's a matrix there's a matrix that you might have learned that is C minus S S C it's a shortcut actually just remember cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta this is called the rotational matrix this is called the rotational matrix actually the proper formula goes like this uh, small xy equal to cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta into xy so you know matrix multiplication so the formula goes like cap x cos theta minus y sin theta y is equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta so what this equations do is it will rotate the axis it will rotate the axis through an angle theta in anti-clockwise direction okay let's go through one question um, it is from 2076 Chaitra okay I'll read the question what happens to the equation 3x square plus 3y square plus 2xy is equal to 2 when the axes are turned through an angle 45 degrees so clearly this is a question related to rotation and they wanted to turn the angle through 45 degrees so what's the trick yeah the rotational matrix c minus s s c so let's write the formula x equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta and y is equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta now theta is given to be 45 degree uh, and i think you remember cos 45 degrees 1 by root 2 sin 45 degrees also 1 by root 2 if you don't know the values use a calculator so let's plug in those values so this becomes 1 by root 2 this becomes 1 by root 2 I'll skip steps we get 1 by root 2 times x minus y and we get 1 by root 2 times x plus y now what should we do yeah wait right the given equation is you have to write this as the given equation and then you can write the transformed equation the new equation the changed equation that will be 3 into um, we have to square this so that is going to give me what is 1 by root 2 squared 1 by 2 into x minus y the whole square plus 3 into 1 by 2 into x plus y the whole square plus 2 into 1 by root 2 into x plus y 
1 by root 2 into um, x minus y. So let's multiply throughout by 2. So I'll get 3 into x minus y whole square plus x plus y the whole square plus this root 2 into root 2 is 2, right? So we get 2 into x plus y, x minus y is equal to 4. And that gives me, this is x square minus 2xy plus y square plus x square plus 2xy plus y square plus 2 times, so that's it, the bracket is over here. Um, x square minus y square is equal to 4. Now these two gets cancelled. So we get 3 into 2 x square plus 2 y square plus 2 x square minus 2 y square equal to 4. That is we get 6 plus 2 8 x square plus 6 minus 2 4 y square equal to 4 or 2x square plus y square equal to 1. Okay, that's it. And if you want, you can write this. The, I mean, you have to understand this is the new equation, the transformed equation, which is in the new rotated system. But if you want, you can write this in small x and small y. Anyway, I always feel it is better to write it in capital X and capital Y or another notation so that we are aware that this is not the original equation, but the equation which is transformed. So that's it. It was a small video. I'll be back with more questions in the next video. So till then, 